Hi, this is Jim Starkweather with the Kitmaker Network. Welcome to another episode of Cracking the Box. Uh, this is a new model from IBG Models, the Bedford QLD General Service Vehicle. This kit's in 135th scale. It's uh, kit number 35015. And if you don't know anything about IBG, they are out of Poland. So this kit has um, language support in Polish, uh, German, and English. Um, so, um... Let's take a look, shall we? Crack it open. On the inside, we've got uh, a manual in black and white. Um, they've got some color references here uh, with corresponding Vallejo uh, colors, uh, two different types, model air and model color. Um, they've got an uh, overlay of, I think, the clear plastic parts, and then they go into various pages of overlays here with the regular parts. Um, these uh, parts are numbered on both the instructions and the sprues. They did insert the the decal sheet here into. Uh, I'll get a better picture of that in a minute. In uh, into the um, instructions, which is a good way to protect it, I guess. Um, the instructions themselves are more of a CAD um, version than line drawings. So you've got CAD illustrated parts here, which is kind of nice because you see, you know some uh, more detail than you do in a line drawing. Well, I'd probably tell them to lighten these up a bit. They seem kind of dark. Uh, but it looks like a fairly good step-by-step -step, um, overlay. Uh, they do have support for both a uncanvassed and a canvas version. The canvas version is one piece, which some people have already noticed, and I'll go over that in a bit. Uh, they do have a couple of different uh, markings here for the vehicles uh, with decal positions and so forth. So let's uh, go on here. We've got the large single piece um, fitted canvas piece. It's got it's two-sided. It's got some you know some of some of the wiring in here that's uh, supposed to show. We'll look at that a little closer in a minute. The decal sheet. Um, some, so the sprues which I opened this one earlier to double check on the the numbering. And uh, so there's there's one and then two and then I'll again just pull these out and then I'll get a closer look in a minute. Their plastic piece and lastly another bundled two sprues set. All right, well, let's take a closer look, shall we? Okay, here's the front uh, cab and grill. Uh, probably some a section that a lot of people are going to want to uh, focus on the model. You can see there's definitely some uh, nice detail with the. Um, windshield and or the windshield frame I should say um, I'm not uh, reading a name or anything on the front obviously Bedford should be on there but uh, here's some of the side panels of oh, the back that's probably the back of the cab actually um, here is the door upside down but a door still and the other door I flip those around so you can see that there is minimal um, interior detail, door, window, turn, but uh, not a whole lot. And there's the back of the cab detail. Some so. of the smaller parts like the leaf springs, um, they look good. Uh, there's A lot of the parts are pretty solidly secured on these sprues, so they're going to need to be um, removed with care and, and uh, Caution. There's a nice uh, torsion bar or something there. Looks like it has some nice detail to it. Um, overall, you know, a lot of small parts, but uh, nothing here that people aren't used to with modern kits. Uh, some kind of emergency brake there. Or Here's the handle. tires. Um, so I believe you can read a brand on there. So here's the um, side of the uh, one-piece canvas. Um, you can see nice detail in here in terms of trying to simulate the rope tie-downs. And uh, there's even some, some areas here I'm not sure you can see, but they're kind of bulged a little bit where, the, where they're trying to show the, the uh, tube frame behind it. Here's the top. Mostly fairly smooth. There are um, actually some what I believe are some production nicks or something in here. Uh, they're little 
essentially the areas where that could easily be sanded off. That's not a, not a huge issue. But And then they do have the, um, the tubes again trying to show through the canvas. Um, here's the other reverse side. On the inside, uh, like I showed earlier, that you do have a little bit of, the, again, the tube showing up. They look a little smaller in scale than the actual thing on the model, or the separate pieces, I should say. The issue is really this. Um, let me show uh, the box. The picture. Uh, so, visually, uh, and you know, the artist did a nice job of this, but visually, you can obviously see there is an empty space between, you know, where the canvas ends and then up into the truck. And not only that, but you can see here from the the the, um, the picture again that there's several inches, maybe three, two, three inches of of, of space between this this uh, channel right here and then the then then the inner uh, the inner panel. So uh, that is not quite replicated though in this. I mean, here's here you see the same area we're looking at, yet there's no inner space, and we're we're again expecting that this is just pulled over clean uh, on top of it. Now, if, if we look at the part, uh, it is indeed the same. Uh, there's the same channel piece, and there's and there's the piece. Excuse me, let me get this right. Yeah, there we go. So there's the uh, trying to put them both in this thing. There's you can see they're the same. They are the same, um, but they're not the same as the illustration. And I'm wondering if um, obviously. I could look at some reference material to see. So it looks like the artist, the box cover artist, got it wrong, and this reference photo clearly shows that the the space of that uh, that uh, steel channel areas on the outside uh, are not that large, maybe an inch or so. I guess I'm guessing. So the canvas obviously still would be an issue in terms of the kind of uh, space between the canvas and those. But um, again, I don't think you're going to get around that with a with a one piece uh, piece. So uh, here's some more photos though of of the kit. So I hope you, again, enjoyed this uh, video. If, uh, if you uh, have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comments area below. Thanks for watching.